Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to show you uh, some projects that I've been working on for Scrap Diva Designs. As you may know, I am a guest designer for Erica. So she sent me a bunch of dies. I did show you my charcuterie board photo album or recipe album last time. And I've been working on some other things that I wanted to show you now. So I will list all the products that I use down below in the description box. Of course, if you have any, any questions, let me know. But uh, yeah, let's get started. And I'm looking forward to showing you these projects. Okay, the first one, I use this die set and this is called the pinwheel die. And this comes with um, the stitched part and then it comes with two layering pieces. It comes with these um, like circles and kind of like gear things you can use to, uh, to embellish your pinwheels. And uh, yeah, these are really fun to make. I also used a couple of these pin flags and um, these I use just to embellish my pinwheels and I'll show you how those look. Okay, so these are the pinwheels that I made and I made them with kind of a patriotic theme and I think they came out so cute. It's hard to hold them all at the same time to show you, but uh, that's what they look like. So let me just show you one at a time. Um, for the silver paper, I used the new ribbon from Dollar Tree that uh, is called Floral Ribbon. And it die cuts really well, you guys. I was so happy with it. And it has a like a shiny textured side. And where's the end? And then the other side is like a matte textured side. So you can use either side to die cut. So this one, I use the shiny side on the inside and you can even see the, the uh, stitch detail on it, which is really nice. And I made it so it doesn't really spin very well, but I put brads on it. So, you know, it does spin. It doesn't like twirl really fast, but Anyway, this is the first pinwheel I made and I think it came out so cute. The dies worked great and I, I, I'm going to make some more of these and just put them in my house as decoration for, for the summer because I like to decorate with a patriotic theme. So this one has one of the little pin flags and um, I used, I have a like a 4th of July paper collection pack in my stash, I think from Echo Park, and it had a sticker sheet and it has red, white, and blue. So I, I um, put red, white, and blue on each of them. So they kind of go together like that. And I use straws from the Dollar Tree. These are nice, thick, uh, sturdy straws, paper straws. This one, I use the, the matte side for the inside of the pinwheel. So I like that too. And I use some star brads from Michaels. So aren't they fun? I love the size of these pinwheels. This one, I use the silver paper for that part, for like the layering part of the pinwheel. And then I use pattern paper for the rest of it. So, and then, you know, the, um, the circle part comes with the pinwheel die set. So that makes it, you know, easy to embellish. And uh, yeah, I just put, so you could see the bread, I just kind of stuck into the straw. So it spins around a little bit. More pin flags. So yeah, I think they're really, really cute. Very fun to make, simple, uh, like as easy as can be for a pinwheel. So those are the ones that I made. I hope you guys like them. All right, let's move on to the next project. Oh, okay, this one I used the stitched layered butterflies. And this die set comes with two sizes of layered butterflies. This is the big one and the small one. The other side uh, contains the layering pieces for the small and the big. And it comes with this, this part here. You can wrap around the um, butterfly if you'd like. And it also comes with the body. Uh, two different sizes for the two different butterflies. So I used two of the small ones to embellish this card. I thought the small just went really well with the size of the card. Um, it was, it's so easy to make, you know, you just uh, cut out each die once and this one, um, yeah, you could see I did wrap that middle piece around it. You don't really need to, but it does add a nice layer, I think. And then for the body, I added Nouveau drops along it. You know, you can bet you can embellish that any way you want. You don't have to embellish it. I did some ink blending on the sides just to give it a little more dimension. And it's fun to just mix different pattern papers. And you know, it's dimensional, but not too bad. You could still mail this, I think. And I love the uh, I love the set. I love that it's stitched. So really, really cute. You can use butterflies for lots of different projects, as you know. So I showed this on Instagram if it looks familiar. 
So that's my next project. Okay, and let's move on to, oh, this is the round charcuterie board set. And this one comes with um, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Uh, this is like the, the um, background piece for the largest one. It doesn't cut out a hole in case you want to make it like, you know, like a embellishment or an album or something like that. Um, lots of different sizes for lots of different projects. So uh, let me show you uh, one project that I made and I made a, an embellishment kind of like a baking board and I used the largest size uh, one with the hole and then the background too. So uh, they cut out beautifully. I cut out some uh, pink glitter paper and some Dollar Tree foam board for the backing to make it nice and sturdy. The inside piece is just a piece of like Robin's egg colored cardstock. And then I used a couple other of Erica's sets as well. This rolling pin comes from the, let's see, the kitchen utensils die set. So I used the rolling pin on this one and uh, I uh, cut it out twice and then just kind of paper pieced it to make it look like it has wooden handles. And then the Live Love Bake, I used Erica's stamp, Live Love Bake, and I used some clear embossing ink and then I used some iridescent embossing powder that I just got from Michaels. Um, I think it would stand out a little bit more if you used like a regular ink and then um, added the clear embossing powder. And that way it would just kind of emboss whatever color ink you used. But I think you could see it and it looks kind of cute there. So I love how this came out. Um, I used some clay heart sprinkles just to emphasize the baking theme. The, um, this cookie and this Pop-Tart I had made last year, these are dies from the Greetery. And I had just saved all of the embellishments that I made and I thought they looked really cute here. These little cookies are from, I think they're from uh, probably the Greetery die set too. I don't remember actually. And this die is from uh, My Creative Time, the doily die. So super cute, right? This could be the cover of a recipe book too, or you know, just some decoration. I was thinking maybe making a few of these and stringing them and making kind of like a baking theme banner. I think that would be cute. So yeah, hope you like that. That's my next project. And I wanted to show you another way to use these charcuterie boards, the round ones. When I first saw this, I thought it really looked like a balloon like this. So I made a, like a birthday card using the smallest size for a bouquet of balloons. So this is the one that I made and aren't they sweet? I love that they're stitched and I, I love big round balloons. I think those are the coolest looking balloons. So that's what I did for this. I cut it out five times and um, I also layered it with some 110 pound cardstock, the printed paper, just to you know make them a little bit more sturdy. This paper, this floral paper, I just bought, it's a digital paper from the Arala Miha shop on Etsy. So I, I just love this kind of paper and uh, I wanted to try that out. So I think that came out super cute. And um, I used some silver uh, thread that I just got from Michaels for the, for the uh, like balloon strings. I tied a little red ribbon and added a little paper rose to uh, tie it all together. The edge here, this is also one of Erica's new dies. This is from the, it's called the um, Spring and Easter Border Set. And um, as you can see, it comes with a lot of different borders. And I love these. I love adding pretty borders to my projects. So for this one, I used this like eyelet set and it cut out beautifully. All the little holes popped out so nicely. I just used some uh, like regular 110 pound white paper just to add um, a little interest. And I love uh, white eyelet. I just think that really pretties up your projects. So um, I just, yeah, I think that makes the card look really nice. And that's the inside. This is, no, that's just a piece of scrap paper I had left over and just made it into a little banner, but um, I didn't really add any sentiment yet, but um, I did want to show you the front because I just love the, I love the uh, round charcuterie board as the balloons. I think that looks very, very sweet. 
All right, and I want to show you one other project I made using uh, one of these border strips or the uh, spring borders. And I used this one. I just like how it looks like a piece of lace. So I made this teacup shaker and I just cut out uh, a piece of like glitter white or like it's kind of pearlized textured white card stock from Joann's and uh, just added a strip across the teacup. And I think that makes it look really sweet and dainty. The um, embellishments, well, these two embellishments are from uh, the Not Too Shabby Shop I just hauled recently. And I made this strawberry with the new Lawn Fawn die set. And this teacup is from KS Craft. That was part of my design team package last month from them. And I just made a pretty shaker mix with all sorts of coordinating colors and stuff. But um, the reason I wanted to show you this is because I use this trim, which I think adds a lot. You know, you could add regular lace, but just to cut it out of paper, I think is really fun as well. So those are my projects right now for uh, Erica's shop. I'm sure I'll have more and come back with them. But I had so much fun making these. And like I said, I'll link all of her dies and the stamps uh, down below in the description box. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. And thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care, guys. Bye.